The island of Socotra, part of a small archipelago in the Arabian Sea, has long been a subject of fascination and intrigue. Not just for its unique flora and fauna, which make it a living natural history museum, but also for its geopolitical importance. This remote island, part of Yemen, holds more significance than meets the eye. To start, let's talk about its natural wonders. Socotra is often referred to as the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean. Around 700 species found on this island are found nowhere else on Earth. The iconic dragon's blood tree, with its umbrella-shaped canopy and red sap, is just one example of the island's unique biodiversity. This biodiversity has made Socotra a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But it's not just the plants and animals that make Socotra special. The island is home to the Socotra people, who have their own language and culture, distinct from the Yemeni mainland. Now, on to the geopolitics. Socotra's location near the Gulf of Aden makes it strategically important. This area is one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, a passageway for oil and other goods between Europe, Asia, and Africa. Control over Socotra means control over these shipping lanes and, by extension, a degree of control over global trade. This is why Socotra has become a pawn in the geopolitical chess game between regional and global powers. Historically, Socotra was part of the ancient trade route that connected the East with the West. It has been ruled by various powers, including the Portuguese, the British, and the Mara Sultanate of Kishan and Socotra. In recent years, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, has been increasing its influence on the island. The UAE has invested in infrastructure, provided humanitarian aid, and even deployed military forces to Socotra. This has raised concerns that the UAE is attempting to annex the island. The Yemeni government has accused the UAE of occupying Socotra and has called for the United Nations to intervene. This situation has added another layer of complexity to the already tangled web of conflicts in the Middle East. The UAE's involvement in Socotra is part of a broader strategy to extend its influence across the region. The UAE has established military bases in Eritrea and Somaliland, and has been involved in the conflicts in Libya and Yemen. Some argue that the UAE's actions are part of a broader struggle for regional dominance between the UAE and its allies, and Turkey and its allies. Socotra is just one piece of this larger puzzle. The situation in Socotra is also influenced by the ongoing conflict in Yemen. The Yemeni civil war has created a power vacuum that external actors, like the UAE, are eager to fill. This has led to a fragmentation of power on the island, with different factions vying for control. The situation is fluid and rapidly changing making it difficult to predict what will happen next. The international community is watching the situation closely. The United Nations, the United States, and other countries have called for restraint and a peaceful resolution to the conflict. Despite these calls, there is a risk that the situation could escalate into a broader regional conflict. This would have serious implications for global trade and security. It's not just the geopolitics that makes Socotra important. The island is also a key player in the fight against piracy in the region. The waters around Socotra are infested with pirates who target commercial shipping. The presence of international naval forces, as well as the UAE's military presence, has helped to reduce piracy in the area. Socotra's unique biodiversity is also at risk. The influx of military forces and the construction of new infrastructure threaten the island's fragile ecosystem. Conservation organizations are working to protect Socotra's natural heritage, but it is a constant battle against the forces of development and conflict. So, why is Socotra important? It is a biodiversity hotspot, a key player in global trade, and a pawn in the regional geopolitical struggle. Its future is uncertain, and its fate is closely tied to the broader conflicts in the region. As the situation evolves, it will be important to keep a close eye on this remote and fascinating island. The situation in Socotra is a reminder of the complex interplay between nature, geopolitics, and human activity. It is a microcosm of the challenges facing the world in the 21st century. As we move forward, it will be essential to find ways to balance the needs of people, the environment, and the global community. Only then can we hope to build a sustainable and peaceful future for Socotra and the world. Thanks for watching Middle East Info. If you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing. Your support means a lot.